Hey, Dr. G here. A quick video on one way to mitigate your risk of getting the evil virus. Okay, so what uh, we can do now, uh, a lot of us are on lockdown, but at least in Arizona, they let you uh, hike, they let you go for a walk, they let you take your dog for a walk. So what I'm doing to mitigate my risk is first, I'm getting out in the sun. Now uh, you may or may not know that ultraviolet light uh, deactivates, it kills. Uh, viruses aren't really alive, but it deactivates viruses. So this is a good way to deactivate your uh, exposure. If you're out here in the uh, bright UV light, midday sun, you're less risk, less likely to get exposed to the virus because the UV light kills it right away. The other thing UV light does is it builds vitamin D. Vitamin D is a big part of our innate immune system. When it's higher, you're less prone to an infection and you're more likely to survive one if you get one. And taking the pills is not the same thing. Okay, so I'm getting my vitamin D. I'm getting the UVB light that comes out here in Arizona around 9.30, I think. Something like that. You can get the D-Minder app for your cell phone. that will tell you. Okay, the other thing I'm doing right now is because I'm not indoors, I'm not getting the toxic fumes from inside your house the uh, volatile organic compounds, the glues and adhesives, and maybe the insecticides and all the different stuff us modern humans spray around is not out here. Plus, none of the oxygen has been used up, even though you notice I'm a little short of breath because I'm going up this steep mountain, but there's more oxygen than indoors. So, what our modern world tells us, stay indoors, you know, outdoors there's the pollen, you know, out, it'll flare up allergies, but we're designed to not react to pollens if our immune system is working properly. And one of the ways to get that happening is to do what I'm doing, get the ultraviolet light to build vitamin D, among other things. So UVA light is also really important. Our uh, red blood cells, our skin absorb UVA light. It's absorbed into different molecules within us, like amino acids, and it gives them the extra power they need to do what they need to do. So everything about your health is better if you get enough ultraviolet light. So I recommend for my clients to try to be outside three hours a day. Now, of course, there's a lot of factors, skin color, how much melanin you have, you know, whether you're tan already, uh, build a solar callus. It takes about five weeks to build a solar callus. So here in April, I'll be gradually getting more intense sun and gradually building my solar callus, which is a thickening of your skin and a strengthening of the mechanisms that repair some of the damage that UV light can do. Because UV light can cause damage because it's high powered. So light frequencies with the smaller wavelengths have more power. So UV light has the most power uh, and that's the, the next one after UV is purple light. So purple light has the most power in the visible spectrum Red has the least, but red is over 40% of the sun, even right now. And red charges our batteries, and so does UV light. So that's something that, unfortunately, medicine doesn't realize, that UV light and red light charge the water batteries that are throughout our entire body, in every cell, every organ. They need to be charged on a regular basis 
Now we do use food. You know, nature allowed us to disconnect and to use food as an alternative source of energy. But if you run on that constantly, you get the diseases of aging and you get the susceptibility to infectious diseases like viruses. So the last thing I'm doing is I'm barefoot. So when you are connected to Mother Earth that gives off electrons, a negative charge, when you're connected, then you have another source of energy, and that's electrons. We have a process in our mitochondria called electron transport chain, and that's how we strip the energy out of our food, but we can get extra electrons for free without eating by going barefoot or in some other fashion, be electrically connected to the earth. So that's anti-inflammatory, gives us more energy. It feels good, makes your feet tough, makes your feet adapt. You're less likely to get bunions, you're less likely to get osteoarthritis, all these different things that have a benefit of getting back to how nature designed things. You know, the running shoe, the athletic shoe, you know, it seems like it's a necessity in our modern world, but it's really not. It's really something that's probably harmed us more than it's helped us. It's taught us to run in the wrong way with the heel pounding. I think it's part of the huge, absolute, unbelievable epidemic of osteoarthritis, knee replacements, hip replacements, shoulder replacements, all that stuff that you want to avoid. So lockdown, they still let you go outside, get out there, promise me you'll get out there. This is Dr. G, thanks so much for watching.